Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video. And in today's video, we're doing a follow-up video from yesterday's video, my last video, Can You Trust Sellers? Weighing Pokemon and Cards Evolutions. It gave me a great idea and I need to show you guys this because I don't know how many people see this. I know it's very, very, very big in like the old school community, like very, very old school, like base set, fossil, all the EX era, like buying Pokemon packs sealed, not in blisters, in just in Pokemon pack form, just like normal booster packs. Guys, you guys really, really need to be careful because every set is weighable before, I'm pretty sure it's before break, breakthroughs weighable, breakpoint isn't weighable. So everything after breakpoint isn't weighable, everything before breakpoint is weighable. You guys need, need, need to understand that. Like really, really need to understand that. So I'm going to show you Primal Clash, a very, very clear explanation or very, very clear example of weighing booster packs and opening the heavy packs, opening the light packs and showing you exactly what you get inside. So this is Primal Clash. I have, I got these out of those Pokeball tins, those ones right there, these ones. Right, so I open up all the packs, or open up all the tins to get all the packs out. So I have Sun and Moon, I have Primal Clash, and then I had Evolutions, which we opened up in yesterday's video. Go check that one out right up there in the iCard in the corner. You guys can check that one out from yesterday's. But we'll be opening up all nine of these today in this video right here. And we're going to go through, weigh them. There is usually, all right, so as you guys know, there's usually like three tiers. There's like a light tier a he like middle tier and then a heavy tier. So the heavy tiers for like the ultra rares, you usually ultra rares and full arts, secret rares, things that have texture. The middle tier is usually for like ho hollow rares, usually usually hollows, if not like regular rares depending on what weight they are. If they're the higher, they're usually the hollow or EXs. The super, super heavy and I'll, I'll explain to you and show you in this usually like the full arts version of the card because they obviously have more texture on them so that means that they're heavier than the other ones so let's get into weighing these packs i'll get rid of face cam and i'll show you guys the packs and the weights so we've got it here so we have the scales it's teared out it's yep all right so we'll weigh them so we have a 1984 so 19 grams and 84 or 0.84 so let's go, zero it out again. So we have a 19.75. So that one is substantially less of a point or 0.1 of a gram less. And that one's the same as the first first one. So the 83. So here we go. So we got the two. So there's the 86, same, same. So there's like the oh that one's a lot heavier. That one is is substantially heavier with the 20, just 20 on the dot. So we'll put that one over there. What's this one? That one is a, let's try to central that one, 1998. So we'll put that one like in between there to just show the difference. Oh, that one's another 20 right there. So full on 20. We have an 80, 79 actually. So that can go on that pile. And then the last one, we have a 91. So that one's one of the heavier ones. So the piles that we got here, we have a 75 right here. So 75 and 78. We have the 80 range, the mid 80 range. We have the 90 range, the low 90 range. And then we have the high 90 range. And then we have the two that are 20 exactly. Alrighty, let's get into opening up some of these packs. We'll, we'll start off with a light one, just a completely light one. It's not gonna have anything in it. And I can already guarantee it, it's not gonna have anything in it. I'm opening up all of these for the purpose and just so you guys know white codes don't mean anything all the codes were the same back then they don't mean an absolute thing and i wish i wish they went back to that where codes don't mean what you're going to get in the pack because that just ruins the whole pack it's it's very very difficult to try and hide the codes from you guys because i give all my codes away and it's very, very hard, see, nothing. It's very, very hard to give away. It's very hard to hide the codes. Obviously, it's extremely hard, but you guys see it, I see it. It ruins the video for me. I got, I got to get excited about, or not knowing that I'm gonna get something, but they just need to do that. So we're gonna go with the 21. This one is one of the heaviest. We have two heavy ones. We will do one of the heavy ones. This should have 
an EX, a full art, or a hollow. I'm gonna say it's gonna have like a full art or something in it, or just an EX. EX or better, because it is one of the heaviest ones that we got. So let's go. We have a Masquerain, a Eri Erico Bike, a Lumbre, Zigazagoon, a Trico, Shroomish, a Tangela, Bidoof, Electrike, and a Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. Exactly right. There is a full art from the heaviest pack, guys. Don't, don't buy loose packs off Facebook. I see so many people buying loose packs, selling loose packs, opening up these Pokeballs that I bought from Costco because they are so cheap, absolutely so cheap, dirt cheap. They have Evolutions, they have Primal Clash, they have Sun and Moon, they have Burning Shadows. The best sets that are out right now. I, they don't have any Steam Siege, any hidden face, any anything that is like a trash pack. They have good packs in it, so oh, it's very difficult. So we got a full out out of that one. We're gonna go for the low nine, the no, the low nineties. So let's see what we can get out of this one. I'm gonna say this one's gonna be like a hollow. It'll be it'll be like a hollow or something. It'll be something like that. So we have a wish cash, a Maxi's hidden ball trick, a ride on a Phoebus. Slugma, Bunnelby, a Lotad, Metatite, a Melotic Reverse Hollow Rare, which is so sick, actually. And then we have a Ninetales Regular Rare. Okay, that is interesting. So, we're looking at the lower packs. Maybe, I don't know. That, that might have just been a weird one. We'll try one of the 80s ones. So, that was one of the 90s. We will try one of the 80s. This one opened terribly. There is a, another code card for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys got that one. Go to three to the front because this is XY, XY era. Let's get through this one. So this one shouldn't have anything in it. It should either have a holo rare, which is that as a reverse holo, and just a probo pass, a regular rare to finish that one off with. Usually you have like your heavy cards, you have your holos, and then you have your nothings. So the nothings seem to, <sighs> Actually, yeah, the nothing seemed to be like the low 90s and below, 90 and below, anything above that is is guaranteed a good pack. So let's go with this one next. This one is the, the high 90s. So this one should be like an EX or a hollow rare of some description. It should be, I dare say it will be, but yeah, it should be. Guys, I used to do this in Mr. Toy's Toy World. I used to go around weigh every single pack and and they knew me by name they knew me they knew what i was doing and who i yeah there we go they knew what i was doing and who i was they knew i had a youtube channel and everything like that and i used to go around weighing all the packs picking out all the good ones buying them so that's what all my first videos on my channel were you guys can check them out up here check out some of those packs i i weighed them and yeah we got some really 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 good pulls i'll open up another 80s one i'm not expecting anything there's a code card. Three to the front and let's get through this. We have a Dubblade, a Professor's Birch's Observations, Lantern, Rhyhorn, a Tynamo, Torchic, a Staryu, Lotad, another Lotad, and a Rhyperior regular rare to finish off that pack. We've got a storm rolling through, so I'm trying to rush through these. And we'll open up the heaviest one last. There's another code card. Three to the front and we start off with a Mr. Mime, Aero Bike, a Nido Queen, a Weedle, Barboached, a Hone Edge, Electric, Drillba, a Wonder Energy Reverse Hollow, and a regular rare Delcati right there to finish off that pack. Last one is this is our lightest pack, so we had the 75. So again, you're not really expecting anything, but who knows with Pokemon? They could have been like, oh, let's not give you one one card so it throws it off by whatever it is per gram. Some could have more glue on it, on the packs. You never know that, but really, an overall spectrum of this, the heavier packs do get the better pulls. So that is a rare reverse holo and another nine tails that we got in the first pack. Alrighty, let's go for the other heavy pack. So in the first one, we got the Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick Full Art. What are we gonna get in this one? This one is the 20.00 one. So this one should be a holo or better or full art. It should, be, it should be an EX or better, but honestly, who knows? Some could have more glue, like obviously the holo rares. 
you could kind of find out which ones do what. But let's see. Escape rope and a Rhyperia. What? What happened there? Surely not. Surely that just didn't happen. Did we get duped? Did we get one that had like a heavy pack in it and then not get anything? What even happened there? That is weird. I'm gonna have to... I've got all the stuff. So which one was it? I think it was, it was this one. So we've got a Groudon pack. Let's weigh all the cards and see what it actually was. So that one and then that one. Yeah, it was 20. 20 exactly, or just under. Okay, that is very strange. I, 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 can't, expa I can't explain it, but this set is obviously weighable. I've done this on my channel before. Guys, if you guys learned anything from today, just learn not to buy boost packs online. I get so many messages saying, oh my God, I got scammed, I got scammed, I, got, I bought packs, I bought weighed packs. They scam me, they scam me. It's just, it's getting too much, so I just thought I had to make this video. Guys, if you want to see any more of my videos, go check them out in the description below. You guys can check out all my channel videos. If you guys want to see what I'm doing tomorrow, make sure to check that one out and stay tuned for tomorrow. Hit that notification bell, come back every single day because I upload every single day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and learned something. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in my next one and peace out.